all right uh, I'm just gonna show you how to uh, make a carton in a 3d in 3d studio max mm, first off I got the top view this is my room I'm just gonna like make a make a set of carton for for the windows I'm just gonna um, uh, it's, it's just gonna happen right here and uh, then I'm gonna manipulate it uh, copy or instance it uh, to other part of my windows okay let's get started starting with a line and uh, it's under splines uh, let's go on the view where I can see the dimension of my uh, windows there you go from here to a little more than that there you go okay now let's go on rendering uh, come back to that let's go on perspective view let's move that line a little back okay uh, everything is fine so far lines there let's go on segments you can see divide right there but before that you gotta select it uh, divide it by 10 oh, there it is now let's go back to vertex vertices in this case because it's more than one alright let's uh, try to manipulate this here select every second one and move them Oop. before that you gotta like convert that all to smooth corners then select this and move them so it's rounded now ah, gotta generate something uh, less mechanical more organic so in that case I'm just gonna La 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 make a little bit crowd here. Let's make this one go a little this direction. This two can go a little uh, maybe a little like that. Same might happen here. The wind's pushing in this direction. And here it's all fine should be good enough now let's get out of this mode and enable there you go in render let's go on rectangular shape let's make this one width wise uh, there we go should like make this one bigger so let's change the change it to rectangular first then change the length there it is coming let's pull this one front take this one uh, up a little too big best view is front then change it to this still big let's do it like this should be good yeah so the carnishes are also visible ok now let's go on perspective one more time we have to add uh, FFD modifiers let's go on control points select the first few ones on front again squish it in have in between let's go back to perspective view see how it is 
Okay, not bad. Now, convert up. Uh, let's go on line and. Uh, well. Let's just convert that to editable poly. Now let's go on edges. Let's see edge faces. Select all those edges and uh, let's connect it. Connect it by 10. Click it OK. Now we have uh, more vertices to work with. Let's get out of the edit poly mode. Um, let's go add an FFD4 is to 4 is to 4 uh, times 4. Uh, let's go on control point first. Alright, let's just like uh, do a little change here and there so that it looks much more. Little, little, little more viable. Okay, you can also scale that from local axis, of course. And, uh, little this way, little that way, little, uh, and should be good. Okay. So here it is. It's pretty much done. That's how you make that. Then I'm just gonna copy this all the way up here. Well, here actually. Copy that. Since I have other furnitures, let's unhide them. Okay. There you go. Now it looks much more realistic, I would say. And I'm just going to use some pelmets over there but uh, you just can like uh, drag a box and do that by yourself it's pretty easy basic modeling anyways that's how you make curtains